Welcome, thank you for tuning in to Soy Saf for another San Antonio Athenians game. Thank you for joining us tonight as we take on Aust FC Austin Elite. That's right, that's second to last game of the season, Scott. We are actually honored to have broadcasted you basically almost every, and there's Martin Campa with the first shot there. Back out to Becca Mays. And then already you see a good challenge from the Athenians already moving forward and challenging that goalie. But yes, as we're saying, this is the second to the last game of the WPSL season for the Athenians. After the season's over though, Scott, we will have an international friendly against Tigres, which should be a great match. Absolutely, Tigres inaugurating in the Women's Mexican Soccer Federation League. Down in Mexico, they're gonna be doing their international tour and they are stopping first in San Antonio. The previous time that the Athenians met was against a packed house, over 2,000 folks. Yes, against Pachuca. Now, so this will be the second international friendly here. That's correct. And you know what? It's going to be a great time. Come out, support, and support your Athenians. And there's Marlene Campa, yeah, number 100. And the last time San Antonio Athenians met Austin Elite, it was a pretty good uh, matchup. Yeah. Matchup, correct. Uh, Austin Elite, we went up to Austin and played them there. It's always one away and one home. And Austin Elite, San Antonio Athenians came out with a win at that game in Austin at the Round Rock Soccer Complex. It was a 3-1 match out there. Here comes San Antonio Athenians again. Oh, Isabel, Isabel Valdez! Off, off, off an Austin Elite, Elite defender. defender right there. Be Athenians corner. And yeah, that uh, we had a tailgate. Uh, thank you to the Gardeners and to Las Rojas for yeah, putting right. on that tailgate before this match. And Absolutely I, great, Scott. We got to see USA versus Ghana. 2-1 match to the United States of America, Dom Dwyer, the English international, now American, scoring his first goal for the United States. There's Ali Fahey for the goal, for the shot on goal there for the corner. Austin Lee trying to get the ball Nicole out. Galan staying with it. Ooh, ripped there by Becca Mays. Ball still in play, Campa still on the ball. Fahey looking for the switch, gets deflected. Campa still with it, going for it. Austin finally able to get the ball out. But Athenians too much there in the middle there. Michelle Hogan now, number 25, controlling the ball, swinging it out to Miss Ana Campa. Miss Ana Campa looking in there for Nicole Galan. Nicole Galan, the heart and soul of San Antonio Athenians into Becca Mays. Becca Mays trying to center it. Here comes Isabel Isabel Bell time. Valdez with time on it. Takes oh, shot and goal! Oh, and a deflection! Marlene Campa, Marlene Campa offsides. The goal oh. is called offsides by the line judge. Yeah, it's un unlucky there. Unlucky there. Just Good gotta know. You gotta know where you are at all times, especially when those shots come off. You gotta make sure you come off that back line and you're not in front of it. Marlene Campa getting caught there offline. But otherwise than that, Scott, already we're seeing a lot better from the San Antonio Athenians when it comes down to attacking wise. Yes, last week they had their hands full playing against uh, Houston South Select. I'm sorry, yeah, Houston TTI. And uh, they were having to play a little bit more in the back trying to field the attack, whereas it seems like this week they're, they're the ones being the aggressor. Ball played out there to Michelle Hogan. Got to play it outside to Isabel. And we see her starting again this week. That's right, she's healthy. Look at that speed she's got. She's been hurt a little bit. Hampered down by a little ankle injury that she suffered over in week four, week five. But as you can tell, Isabel Valdez doing a lot better, feeling a lot better when it comes down to playing. Isabel Valdez out to Marlene Campa, Marlene Campa to Michelle Hogan, Michelle Hogan for the center. Looking There's out Becca there Mays. for Becca Mays, trying to bring it down. Good job there by Miss Becca Mays to keep it back in play. Back out to help us. Ana Campa oh. there. Manacampa with the center. Oh, Ooh. almost got one over the keeper. Keeper not going to let her guard down. Great save there by the keeper to come out and get her hands up and hang on to that one with the pressure on her. And as the season has been winding down in the standings, we have the Lone Star Soccer Club, which will be coming to San Antonio tomorrow. It'll be a big matchup. And when it comes down to the Houston Blue Bonnets, they're going over to Louisiana Shreveport. That'll be a battle out there in Shreveport. Good luck to both of the ladies out there it is playoff time and all three teams lone star blue bonnets here's fahey good job and it's going to be offsides. called an offsides there by the team 
Yeah, they're we were, going to play the Shreveport Lady Rafters. Yeah, so like you were saying, Lone Star, Houston, TTI, and San Antonio Athenians all trying to get those two spots there for the playoffs. And it's not going to be over until the final whistle, which will be tomorrow, tomorrow correct? Yeah, 3 p.m. kickoff. That's right. It will be here live again here at Blossom with your Athenians taking on Austin Lone, Lone Star. Stars. It'll be a rivalry to remember Last time the Athenians and Lone Stars met, it was a three to one match to the Lone Stars in Austin. But now Lone Stars have to come down to San Antonio and face a crowd, a big crowd for the season finale. Absolutely, yeah. And Lone Star's kind of the team to beat, it seems like, this season. I think they only have one loss, one draw when we were looking at it last. So to go out and get a win against them and get those three points, it definitely uh, shows you how talented this uh, Athenian team is. Here comes Michelle Hogan. Passed up there to Isa Valdez. Looking for Marlene Campa again. Nice pass run. in. Good pass there by Isabel Valdez. That's what you always want to see by center mid. Finding those open laces for your forward strikers to get that goal in. Yeah, I'm winning another corner here for the San Antonio Athenians. That's what you like to see. Moving the ball forward. Playing it more outside than central like we saw last week. Looking for those open passing lanes like you mentioned. And again, we don't want we want to thank everybody that showed up to the San Antonio Athenians first ever tailgate a success Probably between 30 and 40 people out there. Isabel Valdez enter Trina Ferguson. Trina Ferguson with a turnaround deflection off the Austin Defender and it'll be a corner kick there for the Athenians fake. He will take care of that And you see him spreading it out there in the box on these corners, you know, looking for some open space, making some runs. Isa here dropped back. Crossed in there. Nicole Galan with a header to nobody on the backfield there. It'll be a goal kick to the Austin Elite team. And again, it seems like the wind playing a little bit of a factor. We've seen that a lot out here. It seems like every week, you know, that that wind just seems to blow across the pitch. And as you look at the flag, you can see it again kind of tonight. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays a factor. And if you're following us, we want to thank you for all those that are following on our Twitter account, on our uh, YouTube account. And we are going to do our best to bring you as much as we can when it comes out to San Antonio Athenians. Remember, the season doesn't end Tomorrow, we continue on with international friendlies, and I'm pretty sure, Scott, that we'll bring, be bringing back down many things down the line to keep this team relevant in San Antonio. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's their inaugural season. They're trying to get all the minutes they can to kind of shake off some of the uh, cobwebs and things like that. So it's been a very Here, impressive inaugural season. Isabel so Valdez showing that speed, looking in for Allison Fahey. Off Michelle Hogan's face. She took one there. Hopefully she's okay. One thing we know about Ms. Hogan is she's got that toughness, that's for sure. Throw in there. Trina stepping up. Referee going to blow his whistle here to a stop. Check on a they're going to check on Ms. Hogan. Going to ask for a switch here. And if you're following us here in San Antonio, they value, make sure that the keep or the players are all in check, making sure that they're all right. It is a little bit steamy out there on the pitch with a combination of a good hard hit there with soccer ball to the head. It's going to take a little bit of, a, of taking care of there to make sure that the players are all right and 100% to go. Absolutely. And if just a reminder, as we, have, we take a little bit of a, of a player break here, don't forget as well, San Antonio FC is playing on tonight. Sacramento, uh, yeah. They will be PM. playing in Sacramento. A lot of numbers on the line tonight, Scott, for the... SAFC players, and Lee Johnson three, starting at goal. Restrepo got a red card last game. But as one thing San Antonio has shown is they have quality keepers, that's for sure. Absolutely, yeah. And, uh, Hannah Player coming in for Michelle Hogan. Going to be playing over at that right back position. Hannah Player, if you see her, she's got a little uh, uh, arm brace on there. She ended, again, ended up injured in, in practice, but she's been pretty good to go as of, as of, as of lately. And playing really good football so far for the Athenians. Becca Mays there controlling the ball in the middle. Out to Hannah Player. Hannah Player takes the ball. One shot out to Nicole Galan. Nicole Galan trying to shake off one player. Back out to Hannah Player. Hannah Player showing that open-mindedness when it comes down to the pitch. Out to Allison Fahey. Allison Fahey. Isabel Valdez out to Mon Kampa. Kampa jumps. Hurdles right over the keeper. 
And good job by the Austin defender to come back and save Austin from getting scored on. Good job there by Isabel Valdez, the Compa, to find the open lane. And good job by Ms. Compa trying to shake off a defender and the keeper. It'll be a corner kick now for San Antonio Athenians. Allison Fahey to take that. Yeah, great move there by Marlon Compa. Good flick on to get by the goalie. Just unable to get back to it and put it in the back of the net. Short delivery by Allison Fahey. Ana, uh, Mar out to Anacampa. Anatampa takes a shot from outside. She's known to score from way outside. She's already had one awesome goal earlier this season. Not afraid to take the shot from goal from outside. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen it quite a few times. And speaking of goals, Allison Fahey's still number three in all of the WPSL right now. Now, that is saying something, man. That is, we got one of the top three sc scorers here in the WPSL. And that is something San Antonio and the town is going to be proud of, especially when it comes down to inaugural season, a successful season for the Athenians. Becca May is up the corner to Marlene Campa, again attacking the wings, it seems like this week. Crosses it in. Allison Fahey right there. Oh, Fahey keeper down. gets a hand on it. Fahey unable to do anything with that one there. Great punch out by the keeper. And again, we've seen it, you know, this whole season long, Benji. It's it's taking these keepers. They got to get aggressive because they're putting the ball right there in the six. And if they're not coming out and they're staying back on the line, they're going to see a goal buried in the back of the net. Oh, absolutely. That's what's killed them a little bit uh, when it comes down to the regular season. And that's one thing that San Antonio has, uh, San Antonio Thieves has been missing as of late. Yes. A little bit more aggressive on the ball. They were a little bit too uh lax lax when it came down to houston tti and we ended up paying for that one three to one but here we are yeah, one week later ball. the girls despite the setback not giving up here's trina ferguson bringing it up Drops it back there to Hannah Player, who just recently came into the match. Plays it out wide there to Maggie Miller. Shelby, it looks like, still out. Played out there. Becca Mays. Up to the corner again to Marlene Campo. And you see that speed. Can she get to it? Keeps it in bounds. Unable to play it to Allison Fahey, though. Ball maybe just got a little bit away from her again. Strong wind kind of blowing across the pitch. Yeah, a lot of environmental factors to be played out with out there. Marlene Coppa gets a touch, tries to take on one. And Austin Elite just not able to mount much of an attack so far. Struggling to get the ball even to the middle. The San Antonio Athenians midfielders there taking control. There's Good Maggie challenge. Miller challenging the ball there. Oh, what she's been known for when it comes down to defense, taking in that spot for Lisa Tomenendal. Cole Gallon, it looked like, was looking to the corner for Becca May. It's just a little miscommunication there. Right idea. But yes, yeah, Scott, to your point, the Austin Elite team just struggling to find a position out there when it comes down to the middle, unable to move the ball even past half court. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like they only have one player playing up top right now. You know, you can't get too aggressive with that. I guess they're a little bit worried about having a Allison Fahey or Marlene Kampa oh, on the opposite yeah. end of the pitch, you know? And it's dangerous because you have already Marlene Kampa, who's coming off a first half half hat trick two games ago, uh, scoring one against, uh, I'm sorry, that was Allison Fahey scoring one against Houston TTI last Houston week. TTI. Yes. Houston TTI currently sitting in number two in the standings. It's dangerous. If you move all your players back, you're going to have to learn how to wait. You're going to have to find a way to compete against the Kampas, the Fahey's. Well, the that Galans. back line for the Athenians, all it takes is those three really to hold it down when you've Absolutely. got Trina Ferguson, Michelle Hogan, and um, Ana Kampa back there. So, And that's missing Lisa Tomenendal, right. too. So. Looks like she might have been off there. Yeah. Referee going to call that. Referee says play on. Give him the punt. And we got Gabriela Lopez in goal again. Gabriela doing an outstanding job all season long for the Athenians. They have a wealth. I'm sorry, who's that? Rayanne Garcia. Oh, Rayanne Garcia is in, 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 in goal. My oh, apologies. The... Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is her first right. start, it looks Rayanne. like. Uh, Rayanne actually had a start in in Austin, actually, okay. as a matter of fact. But Rayanne is a New Mexico State uh, college. She's playing here, extending. She has to go back to New Mexico State here uh, to start their season, their preseason out there in New Mexico uh, in about two weeks. 
So her, uh, Rayanne having the call today, and she's a quality keeper. And again, what I was saying earlier, if there's one thing that the Athenians have and they're not short of is keepers, Scott. Yes, yeah, we've seen Sydney play some. I don't see her on the bench today. I see Gabrielle and Rayanne. But yeah, Rayanne getting the start today. And obviously, Coach saw something he liked in her practice this week. We've kind of talked with their goalkeeper coach before. And it's just kind of been, you know, whoever he sees really stepping up in practice that week. He's confident with any of the keepers he throws into the match. Becca Mays fields this one. Plays it up there to Nicole Galan. Nicole gets the turn on the defender. Nice little move there, plays it out to Trina. Trina takes one, loses it there in the middle. Trina, see, if, go ahead. see if Austin Elite can maybe mount a counterattack here. Hannah Player getting back. Isa Valdez steps up, drops it back. And that's what you always want to see from a midfield. You want to see Isabel Valdez helping out each one of the players, helping each one of them out. Trina Ferguson there plays it out wide to Maggie Miller. Maggie Miller stepping in for, again, the injured Lisa Tomenendal, who's actually on the roster today. So hopefully we'll get to see her second half or later in the 60th minutes of the second half. No, no idea how... Coach Rita's going to be playing her, but Maggie Miller been ha outstanding job since Miss uh, Tamendal has been down with a lower body injury. Absolutely, yeah, she's done a great job filling in. Looks so like we're in our first sub of the match here now for FC Austin Elite, and it is hot out on the pitch. It is hot out here, as what we like to call the Bat Cave here at Blossom. Mm -hmm. We want to thank uh, all those that are helping out, Scott. Again, thank you again for always commentary. It's always a lot better and a lot much more fun when you're here with me. <laughs> And again, Ms. Nicole Mendoza out there on camera, we appreciate you. And to all our fans following us on YouTube and on Twitter, Periscope Live, we appreciate you and thank you. Marlene Kampa carrying this one in, takes on a defender. You see some of that speed. Isabel Valdez now. Decides to drop that one back. And you can hear the girls talking on the pitch, which is very good. That's what you like to hear. You know, a lot of communication. Letting the uh, player know that she's got a girl on her back, you know, calling for the ball. On a compa there, taken down from behind. It'll be an Athenians free kick. Really the first hard foul we've kind of seen of the match. And so far, it looks like we're probably in about the uh, 18th minute now. It's been a great game. No, absolutely. It's been a lot of tempo, a lot of momentum. It's what you want to see with the girls playing. Uh, in, a lot of... Uh, there's a header, oh, just, just wide. wide. It seems to me that it was Marlene Campa there. Yes, it was. Marlene flicking that one on. And again, playing that 4-4-2 tonight. That center back, you know, you can do so much as far as being aggressive or dropping back, especially with Isa there in that role. Oh, Isabel Valdez there showing how much she can control that middle. Yeah, and I'm, forgive me, she's out here on the wing. It looks like they've got Shelby Miller and they're playing that center. That's correct, Shelby Miller playing the center. Yes, and her and Maggie both have been doing an outstanding job this year filling in for each other. There's Hannah Player, a little give and go. Allison Fahey, or Marlene Campo with the turn. Plays it out to Becca Mays. Becca into the box. Marlene trying to get on it, keep it in. Able to play it off of the FC Austin Elite defender. And that just goes to show you, these girls never give up. And that's what you always want to see. Instead of just giving up on the ball, continuing going on it. Yeah, and they want a corner out of it. So, obviously it paid off. <laughs> Fahey again taking this corner. <laughs> and already the Athenians already with four corners with just about 19 minutes to go. Here comes Ana Campa sending it into the middle. Oh. Off Maggie Miller. Miller. Trina Ferguson there chasing it down, trying to capitalize. And here comes Austin Elite. Isabel Valdez there to help out. Caught a handball there on Austin Elite, it looks like. So it'll be another Athenians free kick. But yeah, like you say, Isa knowing when to step up and pressure and the girls just helping each other out. One pursuing from behind, one stepping up from in front. Great defensive attack there by Isabel Valdez. And that's one thing we've seen all season long by the Athenians. 
and sometimes it's come back to bite them. But when it comes down to attacking, they are not shy of going at goal. Marlene Kampa again. Marlene Kampa run off one. Out to Fahey. Fahey still into the ball. Into the middle. Trying to find somebody. Looks like Becca Mays maybe. She hit that one with the left. Trying to cross it to Becca Mays across the goal. Great attempt there. Looks like it might only be a matter of time before we have somebody put one on the board. Oh, absolutely. Austin dropping numbers back, trying to make sure they then will not get outscored this time. Austin Elite dropping that one back. Allison Fahey right on her back. Taking their time, bringing it up the sideline. Deep ball in there to the corner. And Maggie Miller able to head it out. On a compa there, able to take that one away. Plays it up to Becca, who flicks it on to Allison, gets intercepted. Becca there to Shelby Miller, playing in that middle, out to Isabel Valdez. He's not showing that fancy footwork there. Out to Fahey. Fahey showing that tenacity and that drive that she's known for. Nice That's way Becca. to save it in there. Out to Becca Mays. Becca Mays takes a shot on goal. Looking for Madeline Kampa just a little Upper bit left too of the much. Goal. Yeah. Maybe trying to get that one to bend back down. Just couldn't get across it. Great attempt there. And like you said, it was a great pass back by Fahey to Absolutely. Becca Mays. Good look. And the Athenians so far in this first 22 minutes just kind of dominating. We also want to Maggie Miller, Shelby Miller coming down with that one, chasing that one down. Back out to the keeper. Pressure into the midfield. Trina Ferguson, Isabel Valdez there. Hannah Player back out. Maggie Miller controlling. Back out to Hannah Player. Hannah Player looking for Isabel Valdez. Isabel Valdez trying to turn on to a player. Cross nice job there. by Isabel Valdez to try to find Nicole Galan into the middle. Nicole Galan trying to squeeze one right in through the middle to Allison Fahey. Stopped by the Austin defender. Here comes the Austin midfield trying to capitalize, trying to get one back into the goal. Moving forward, the ball is in play. And here comes Austin Elite trying to get one over. Hannah Player onto the defense. Good tackle there by Hannah. Austin not done yet, trying to capitalize on it. Easy day, goal kick to the Austin Elite, but that is the first attempt that we see by Austin trying to capitalize, trying to get a goal on early. Ball played short there to Anacampa. And again at goal, we have Ms. Ray Ann, double zero. There's Allison Fahey showing that speed. It's That's a battle of the center. speed, and there's Allison Fahey. Marlene trying to get top. into the bottle, trying to get a crossover to Marlene. Good idea, but there's Allison Fahey showing that speed, showing that desire to get to goal. Yeah, it's impressive. Austin Elite now trying to mount some kind of counterattack. Switching fields here out to the wing. Just gets by her a little bit. Going to roll out of bounds. It'll be a... Uh, line just, just a little poke through. Austin maybe defense lucky to get back on that one. Or else I would have been back in the net, Scott. Yeah, maybe a little too unselfish there by Marlene. You know, with her speed and her technical ability, I think she probably could have just taken that one to the goal, but... Great job, they've been doing so good moving the ball and passing the ball that, you know, just stringing these ones and twos together. There's Madeline Kampa again. Shelby Miller there to help out in the middle. Tracking it down over there to the far side. Ball played up there by FC Austin Elite. Tackle there by Trina, no call, good tackle. Ana Kampa with the ball, looking for the open lady. Plays that one there off the Austin Elite forward for another Athenian's throw. Becca Mays with, looking for the turn. Oh, tries to play it across there to Hannah or Nicole Galan, but just a little bit behind her. Austin handed out there by Hannah Player. Hadn't seen Michelle Hogan come back on the pitch. Hopefully everything's okay. Ah, uh, they'll rest her up for the second half. You know, precautionary. They got a lot of good talented players out there. Hannah playing very well so far in the Absolutely. right back position. So no need to risk a player. Trina Ferguson there showing her tenacity. Looks like a good tackle to me. A lot of physicality in that one, but I thought she got ball. That's uh, what the official fans there being saying. fair, calling the fair play. Good defense. Just saying a little bit too rough. 
It'll be a free kick here for Austin Elite. Play one. It. We're also live on Periscope. Yes, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then you won't have to look for our live broadcast tomorrow at 3. You'll just get notified when we go live. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll never miss another match. And it looks like a good crowd here out here already. Scott, I'd say between five to 600 already showing up between the 26, 26 yeah. minute here. Absolutely, and it looks like the referee's gonna go ahead and call a little bit of a water that break here. correct, and that's, that's one thing we wanna see is that the official's taking care of it. We'll take a little break here. Uh, little recap here for the first uh, 26, Seven minutes. 27 minutes. Good job by the Austin, uh, by Austin elite team just trying to get back and defend. Yeah, yeah, no, they've done a good keeper here for uh, FC Austin Elites. Definitely had her hands full, that's for sure. Uh, San Antonio Athenians doing a great job on the attack. We didn't really see that last week. They were playing on their heels, I think, a little bit more. Uh, able to build the attack, attacking in the corners more, which you heard Michael Reed saying that last week. You like to see that. So the keeper can't necessarily come out and take it away. So just a great job attacking by the Athenians so far. Oh, that's going to be correct. And if they want to really give a push to the playoffs, um, one of the things that they need to work on is making sure that they capitalize on some of those finishes. San Antonio Athenians already in the first half already have had four corner kicks as of 26 minutes here. And if you're wondering what stopped playing, you're just joining us. The official on the pitch has called for a water break. It is hot here in San Antonio. Not uncommon. Topping 100 degrees out on the pitch, that is for sure. So we want to thank you for taking care of all our stuff our players, all of our fans out here. For those who want to give a shout out here to uh, Scott real quick, now that we have a little opportunity. Sure. To the SAFC Gardeners. Yes, sir. To Las Rojas. Yes. To Mission City from 118. To Soy Sav. To, who else am I missing? Uh, Crocketeers. The Crocketeers showed up. 2-1 yep. Alliance yep, showed up. Yep, that's right. A lot of support for San Antonio Athenians' yes. first ever tailgate. That was awesome. That was and the time. next tailgate I believe that they're going to be having is going to be against Stigatis. Do not miss it. It's a lot of fun. They had the USA versus Ghana game out there. Uh, USA winning that game 2-1 to one with goals by Kaylin Acosta and also Dom Dwyer. And if you want to get more information as far as when the girls play, they have another game against Lone Star Soccer. Oh, and it's a shot there right off the crossbar by Asin Fahey and just wide by Ana Campa. Yeah, yeah, Marlene Campa, I believe, had that rebound there. And yeah, she, she was just unable to put it in the back of the net also. Very close chance. Fahey there. there could not believe that it went right off the crossbar, that's for sure. Yeah, great shot there be a goal kick but like we've been saying we were just talking about the opportunities the Athenians have had in this first half and we'll see if they can't put one in the back of the net before too long goal kick there out of bounds it'll be a San Antonio Athenians throw in Austin Elite making a substitution, and now the San Antonio Athenians making their first substitution, taking out Shelby Miller, and it looks like putting in Katie Ann Lochte. Also coming off the pitch, you see Marlene coming off the pitch, and it looks like it's going to be Christina Nunes coming onto the pitch now. And in the WPSL, if you haven't been watching so far, there are unlimited subs. Allison Fahey. And there's Fahey just wide, keeping it in play, though. And here comes Christina Nunes with those fresh legs. Into the middle, looking for Fahey. Fahey gets ahead on it, just wide. J Bell, right at the keeper. But a lot better from the Athenians, that is for sure. Substitution for your Athenians. Out of the game number ten. Yeah, absolutely. You see his opportunities. You see him crushing the net, getting the rebounds. That's as a coach, that's what you want to see. Is everybody just crushing the goal? Let's welcome in number twenty-one from Oklahoma State University, Christina Nunez. Allison Fahey there, holds it, passes it on. Oh! Yes! <laughs> go, go, go! With the diving header. For a header. And By the fans the here like that one. That is Miss Nunez with the header. Off an Allison Fahey cross, I believe. Great ball there, great finish, great positioning. We said it wouldn't be long before somebody or before the Athenians possibly put one in the back of the net. Scott, I believe that is number nine, 
the youngster, the high oh, schooler, me. Leslie Reels with you are that right. goal there. With a beautiful header right off Christina Nunes. And it's a 1-0 game. Oh, it was Christina Nunes there. And then we had it upside. We had it backwards. We were so excited. We were so excited by the goal. But Miss Leslie Reels there with the assist. And Miss Christina Nunes getting her first goal of the season. She had one against Shreveport, but it looked like they had taken that one away and gave it to Miss Fahey. Here comes Nunes again. Oh, and the goalkeeper comes right back out. Flicked on again there by Leslie Reels. That's correct. Yeah, what a great goal, great finish. Punted out there by Austin Leeds keeper, headed up by Ana Campa to Nicole Galan. Trying to find an open teammate. Little step over. Decides to drop it back there to Maggie Miller. Flicks it up. Played out wide there to Katie Ann Lochte. Plays, oh, plays it in deep right there to Miss Nunes. Gonna be called off sides anyways. Great ball, almost had it right on her foot. A little more than 10 minutes to go here in the first half. One to zero to the San Antonio Athenians. Good results so far from the ladies of San Antonio. Elite decides to play this one short. There's the deep ball. Trina Ferguson not going to let that by her. Good header there. And there is Leslie, or Christina Nunez, Leslie Rios. Sorry, that was Jessica Bell. A few substitutions here recently. There's Jay Bell again stepping up, winning the ball. Crossed in there. Fahey flicks it on. And Trina Ferguson not going to let her by her. Good tackle there, flicks it up. Hannah Player going to play that one back, slow it down a little bit. Maggie Miller plays it to Fahey. Fahey looking in the line. Ooh, takes the defender. Looking for the cross. Oh, trying to find Leslie Rios there at the top of the six. Gets intercepted. And ball simply just had to be played out of bounds there by FC Austin Elite. We're going to have a throw in here. Substitution again for FC Austin Elite. Fahey with those deep throws. Let's see where she puts this one. Down into the box. That was on a compo with the throw, and excuse me. Jay Bell crosses that one in. Katie and Lochte. Keeper able to field that one. Slowing it down a little bit, letting everybody catch their breath. There's the punt. Maggie Miller stepping up. And there's Christina Nunez carrying the ball up the pitch. Oh, maybe looking for a lady to make a run. Leslie Reels try to take on the defender, gets stopped. Looking down into the corner, Austin Elite. Hannah Player just knocking that one back to the keeper, ran. Up to Trina, who plays it out wide there to Maggie Miller. Up to Katie and Lochte, who has the turn. Plenty of space, carries it. Looking for Allison Fahey up the line. And again, ball just had to be played out of bounds. It seems like so far defensively, that's all FC Austin Elite's really been able to do against the speed of the San Antonio Athenians is just try and clear it out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you're facing a team like the Athenians, one of the top three teams in the conference, and you're sitting basically almost at the bottom of the pool, you just don't want to get outscored. You're going to come out here. You're going to do your best. You're already down one to zero in the first half. You want to try to minimize that as much as you be best you can and try to catch the Athenians on a mistake when it comes on the offensive side. 
Absolutely, yeah. But try to get a counterattack. As you can tell, the, the Austin is dropping one, two, three, four, five, six into the box. And only with one forward and three Athenian defenders in the back, it's going to be difficult for them to come back. But despite that, they've already had a lot of good takes on goal. Here they come again. Uh, Hannah Player onto the Austin Elite. KDN locked it there to intercept. KDN out to Christina Nunes. Nunes back out to KDN. KDN still fighting into the middle there. Keeping using her body physicality. In front of it. Ooh. And that's one thing about KDN that you'll find out is that she is one physical girl. She will not go down unless you clip her feet. Yeah, I think that was one of the things that impressed uh, Mikey Reed the most last week was just the physicality of these girls and how much they mix it up. And we've seen it all season long, so it's no absolutely. surprise to us. Yeah, absolutely. They've impressed everybody that have that they have met, that is for sure. And they sh they've shown it already out here with a lot of chemistry and a lot of play. There's Ana Campa playing out on the defense, back out to Maggie Miller. Maggie Miller swings it out to Trina Ferguson. Trina Ferguson now. Hannah Player. Hannah Player. Looking for the open. Athenian, Athenian but gets intercepted. There. Looking for Ms. Leslie Reels, who already has two good assists into the pitch, one for goal. Yes, absolutely. Ball played in there by Austin Elite. And here comes Ms. Rayanne securing that. Not slowing it down, and he goes to throw it out there to Jay Bell. Referee going to call a penalty there. It'll be another Athenian's free kick. Anacampa going to clear this one up the field. Down to Allison Fahey, who's able to keep it in bounds. Oh, oh just rolls over the touch line. And she's going to be upset with that one. Just Again, that wind blowing. Fast. Yeah, that yeah, wind blowing fast. just a little too hard. Grass looks pretty short. I think that's part of the reason why FC Austin Elite hasn't really been able to clear the ball too far out of their own defensive end. As you can see, it kind of get hung up anytime the goalie tries to clear it out. That's correct. Nicole Galan able to play that one up there to Jessica Bell. And again, just simply cleared out by FC Austin Elite for another Athenian's throw. Anacampa going to take this one as well. Thrown in there to Allison Fahey, brings it down, into the middle. Played across there to Katie Ann Lochte. She has a shot, oh, has a shot, gets deflected, follows the rebound. Leslie Reels coming back down with it, back out to Katie Ann. Katie Ann turns. Oh, has a shot, Stop saved by the keeper. keeper. <laughs> Already, you've already seen five different players on the Athenians taking a shot at goal. Yeah, they've definitely been spreading the love around, that's for sure. But again, the girl's not giving up on this team. Nice Here little give and go. Leslie Reels out to Christina Nunes. Nunes out to Leslie Reels, still challenging. Coming back out is Nicole Galan. Nicole Galan out there to Allison Fahey. I apologize. That is Jay Bell out in the wing. Yeah, a lot of formation changes, a lot of substitutions. Out to Nicole Galan again, controlling back out to Trina Ferguson, who has played every San Antonio Athenians game as a defender. Trina Ferguson into the middle. Katie and Lochte heads it on. Yes, and not just every game, but almost every minute of every game That's we've right. seen. She, she is a machine. She will not stop. Loves this team. Loves this club. Maggie there dropping it back to Rayanne. Ooh, nice little flick. Looking more like a forward than a, a goalkeeper there. Nicole Galan playing it out there to Maggie Miller. The girls just slowing it down, playing possession. Up there to Allison Fahey. Unable to control that one. Ball simply dropped back by FC Austin Elite. Keeper again going to just try and clear it out. Athenian's able to intercept. Christina Nunez. Dropping it back there to Trina. Plays it into the corner. Great ball to Jessica Bell. Unable to track it down. Ball bounces off the corner flag. It's going to go out of bounds for a throw in. Looks like a substitution here for your San Antonio Athenians. Allison Fahey coming off. Marlene Campa already back on the pitch. So maybe uh, Coach Vita just wanting to have a few words, kind of change up the game plan a little bit, let them catch their breath. It is hot, like we said. Also looks like another substitution. 
think that's Becca Mays who just walked off. No, excuse me, Nicole Gallon. And now Kelly Lochte coming onto the pitch. So both Katie Ann and Kelly on the field right now. Deep throw in there. Flicked on. A little butt. Oh. Nice little flick over the head. And again, FC Austin Elite really with only one forward up top. Hannah Player heads that one back to Trina. Gonna play it back one more to Rayanne. Played out wide there to Maggie Miller. Looking for Kelly Lochte, but goes up to Anna Campa or Marlene Campa. Played into the corner there to Jay Bell, looking for the cross. Gets deflected out of bounds by FC Austin Elite for another San Antonio Athenians corner. They've had a lot of set pieces here tonight. See if they can maybe try and get a goal off one of these. And a great turnout again tonight, Benji. I've been so impressed with the crowds that we've had here at these Athenians matches. Uh, absolutely. The one thing about San Antonio is that we know is that they love their soccer and they absolutely. love their teams and they will support it one way or another. Here cross comes the Athenians with the cross into the middle there. Trina Ferguson going up. Will be called for the foul. A little over the top, not really quite straight up and down, but it's so impressive to see Trina Ferguson come all the way up from the back. Absolutely. Just has that dominance in the air. They throw her up there for almost every corner kick that we've seen. Yep. On a compa there. And our apologies about Periscope. We had a technical error there. We'll be able to uh, upload it there at halftime to get both going on YouTube and Periscope. Thrown here by FC Austin Elite. And here comes FC Austin. Nice good ball, ball into the, the middle. Back. One of the good chances. Had a player tracking it all the way back. back. Plays on the bounds. One. That was almost one in the back of net if it wasn't for players coming back to the field. Yes. And all the Athenians good about that. You know, they don't just play up top. They track back in 110% to get back and not let them get that equalizer because the score is still only 1-0 with uh, just probably a, a couple minutes left here in the first half. Our like clock, about the 43rd, 44th minute. We yeah. might be a little bit off there. Yeah, our clock's about a minute off. And FC Austin Elite here with their first corner. See if they can do anything. Oh, simply played out of bounds. It'll be a San Antonio Athenians goal kick. And again, here at the halftime, we'll restart our feed. And ball played out wide there to Hannah Player. Up to Christina. Ball played there to Marlene Campa. Looking back for Kelly Lochte. Katie Ann able to scoop it up. Again to Christina. Looking for Marlene. There's Marlene with the speed. Oh, good job by the Austin Elite keeper to come out. Absolutely a great job by her to come out. Well punted up there again. Crosses midfield, Trina. Oh, gets flicked on by FC Austin Elite. Hannah able to save it. And Hannah Player doing a good job for the so far injured Michelle Hogan who good, uh, took a good knock to the face when it came down to that uh, player. Oh, that's a big, big misread by the Austin Elite. Marlene Campa with it. Four players are on her. Takes a shot from outside. Rolls into the keeper's hands. Great interception there by Marlene Campa. You don't want to make those mistakes on the Athenians. We've seen them capitalize too many times like they did last week against Houston TTI Blue Bonnets. Put it out there by FC, FC Austin Elite keeper. Trina plays it out wide there to Christina. Doing a great job of working those sidelines tonight. Cross back to Kelly Lochte. And ha time has expired here, Scott, and we're going to be officials has given us a two minute in stoppage time. Played up there by Maggie Miller to Jessica Bell. Ana Campa going to play that one down the line. Gets intercepted by FC Austin Elite. 
Maggie Miller able to clear that one up. Austin Lee Keeper comes out. Seems like they may just be trying to kill these last few seconds. Play deep there. On a compo, back to Jay Bell, looking for the give and go. Little misread, miscommunication. And again, simply cleared out by Austin Elite. Throw in here. Looking for Leslie Rios. Leslie wanting a corner. She's going to get it. This might be the last play of the game here. Or the, the half, excuse me. In extra time. It's like Leslie's going to take this corner. Crowding everybody into the box. Crossed in. Keeper punches it. Oh, oh the right off the cross bar. Between the front oh, and the front. Oh, by Kelly Lockie. Kelly Lockie. Yes, Kelly Lockie Kelly able to Lockie poke it into in. the box, capitalizing <laughs> it. Goal by Kelly Lochte. As time is fixing to expire. And that is it. It is the first end of the first half, two to zero, with the San Antonio Athenians up two to zero here at the half. Great Good goal there. Good job by the Athenians, showing what San Antonio is all about, making the town proud. Scott, Absolutely. It's a great time, but at the same time for our city, it is a sad time. We want to give a shout out to all our men in uniform, our brothers, law enforcement brothers. We feel for you and we th we thank you so much for each and one of you guys that go out there. Uh, we have San Antonio PD out here as well, keeping us safe. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have what we have today. So brothers and sisters out to the law enforcement community of the fire fireman community of the paramedic community we thank you so much yes all first for responders. what you do and all our first responders we thank you so much for what you do our hearts go out to you um, as you go through this grieving period just know that San Antonio stands with you and we are very proud of you and we love you guys tremendously yes our thoughts and prayers and here in San Antonio it is a two to zero game we will leave you with some halftime uh, game film here or promos here and we will be back with you to finish the second half. Yeah, great first half so far. Two goals on the board. Excited to see what adjustments Coach Vita makes. Absolutely. See if they can't put two, three more in. On the scoreboard, Christina Nunez and Katie Ann Lochte have San Antonio. Kelly Lochte. Kelly, Kelly Lochte has and that may be her first also. That's her first goal of the season, that is for sure. Has us up 2-0 to zero versus Austin.
and we're back for the second half as your San Antonio Athenians take on FC Austin Elite, currently up 2-0 in the first half with goals by Kelly Lochte and Christina Nunez. And there's the whistle. Switching fields here. As we were saying in the first half, wind blowing now uh, against the Athenians. Maggie Miller going to stay right on her, shoulder to shoulder. Cleared out there by Trina Ferguson. Ooh, Marlene Compa misses that one just under her foot. Shelby Miller plays that one out wide. Ana Compa hits that one into the box to Marlene. Falls right in front of her. Passed up to Allison Fahey who buries it in the back of the net. Allison Fahey with another goal. Great pass there from Ana Compa. Up to Marlene Compa. Over to Allison Fahey. Great ball work with less than a minute in to the first half. The Athenians go up 3-0 on FC Austin Elite on an impressive display of passing. Great goal there by Allison Fahey. Ball going to roll over the touchline there for a... San Antonio Athenians goal kick. And that right there gives Allison Fahey her ninth goal to tie her there for second now in she the is, WPSL. She is now behind Rachel Dorwart from Penn Fusion Soccer. With 11. And she'll be tied for second behind not only then Miss Kenya Bordner from FC Dallas. Here comes Marlene Campa. Marlene Campa, one on one. Has the shot just over the crossbar. Great run there again by Marlene Compa, and she's been having those runs all game long. Be a goal kick here for FC Austin Elite. Played up there. Shelby Miller not having any of it. Good to see her back in. And Allison Fahey going to steal this one. Drops it. Oh, looking for Marlene Campa. Trying to return the favor. Gets intercepted. FC Austin Elite trying to mount a counterattack. Shelby stepping in front of it. Becca Mays helping out. Able to steal that one away. Passes it in there to Nicole Galan, who drops it back to Shelby Miller. Up to Isa Valdez with a nice little turn. That's that Mexican national superstar. Passes it up there to Marlene Campa, who's onside. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Has a shot off the crossbar. Allison Fahey with the rebound, just wide of the net. And these girls are hungry. They're not giving up. I mean, they're up three to zero, but they want four, five. Marlene Campa with a great chance there. Just hits that almost where the two bars meet. Goal kick here, FC Austin Elite up to midfield. Stolen there again by Issa Valdez, who plays it outside. I believe that's Hannah Player out there on the far left. Yes, Hannah Player plays it into the corner. Back to Hannah, lets it go to Nicole Galan. Good defensive effort there by FC Austin Elite. Issa slips a little bit there and hits that one out of bounds. It'll be an elite throw. And almost saw two goals here in the first three minutes of the second half, Benji. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've been absolutely just impressed just watching the ladies from a, from a distance. Letting you call the shots, man, that was impressive. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Allison Fahey and then Marlene Kampa. And you can tell the girls will not quit. They're going to keep going. They're going to play it. There's no mercy when it comes down to these ladies. They're just going to keep playing you football. Throw in there by Issa Valdez. Fahey to Marlene. Gets intercepted. It looks like uh, Athena's going to be playing a little bit more high instead of just dropping more players back. Shelby Miller there to contest it. Good job there by Shelby Miller to come back. Becca May is looking out there for Maggie Miller. And again, it seems like they started to play with uh, Hannah Player instead of Michelle Hogan. Hopefully everything's going good with her. Yep, 3-0 may just be more of a precautionary measure. And the here corner. comes Allison Fahey. Onside, slowing it down, looking for the center ball. Gives it up to Isabel Valdez. Isabel Valdez with that one touch. Isabel Valdez still with it. Isabel Valdez crosses it over and just over the crossbar. But the girls not showing any quit. 
Yeah, no, no reserve. Still, like you said, they only have three playing back, just like they came out in the first half. Coach Vita saying, let's just keep doing what we're doing, it looks like. It's working well for us, obviously. Don't want to drop back and just give them half the pitch. Elite playing that one up. Outside, gets intercepted by Allison Fahey. Fahey out to Hannah Player. Hannah Player still with it. Looking for anybody into the middle. Sends the ball into the middle to looking for Marlene Campa. Marlene Campa, a little bit over her head, but in the backfield there was Becca Mays. Hey, Fahey there. there in the middle again to bring it down to Cole Gallon. Takes Has a shot. shot. Goal. Right at keeper. Great attempt there from that far out. Had some power behind it, just not quite enough with the wind against her. Punted out here by Austin Elite Key. Up to 18. Tries to bring it down, ends up flicking it on. It's going to roll over the touchline for a San Antonio Athenians throw. Played up there to Shelby Miller. Little Miss Q, able to keep it in bounds. Out to the touchline there to Hannah Player. Plays it up there to Isa Valdez, who's gonna bring it up. Isa Valdez showing that experience, that speed that she possesses. Out to Shelby Miller, Shelby Miller to Ana Campa, Ana Campa into the center there. Recovering from a bad mistake there. Back Still off to Marlene Campa. Marlene Campa centers the ball in there. Crosses it over. Fahey out in the back post. Drops it back. Looking for somebody. To Becca. In the middle. Becca Mays. Oh, oh, foot save there by FC Austin Elite Keeper. Great ball there by Fahey to drop that back as Becca came sprinting on. Unlucky. Great attempt by Becca. Good placement. Just a quick foot save by FC Austin Elite Keep. Thrown backwards there to Hannah Player, who's going to play it up to Issa again. Issa has a shot over top of the goal. And still, FC Austin Elite not able to mount much of a counterattack in these first eight minutes, even with the win there at their back. Played up there, number 23 for FC Austin Elite. Becca just going to let that one roll out of bounds. Good job shielding the ball to get the throw. Anna going to play it down the line to Marlene. And still nobody really covering Marlene for some reason. You'd think to know by now. Oh, oh hit. Oh. And the keeper doing a good job there after letting that one go. She's with Allison Fahey in the back. Yeah, right there on that back post. Keep able to punch it away. Recovers quickly to grab onto it before Fahey can get a foot or a head on it. And she's been doing that. Keep's been doing a great job so far this match. Little confusion there. Trina trying to clear it out. Ball takes a weird hop back to, ooh, handball there. No call by the official. Played out wide there to Hannah Player, who plays it up to Issa again. Issa just controlling that center of the pitch. That's where we're used to seeing her, not on the wing, but there in the middle. Fahey running onto it. Austin Elite able to get there first. Nicole Gallon with the interception. Plays it out wide there to Allison Fahey. There's Nicole Gallon there setting up for a shot into the penalty box. Shakes off one defender into the middle. Out to Beckham Bays. Beckham Bays brings it down. Turns. Takes a shot of goal. Marlene Campa to the middle. Blocked by an Austin defender. Great that would have been there. the fourth one there. Good job by the... Austin defenders just to come back and save one. Absolutely, yeah. They've been leaving them open, almost giving them up, giving giving up on them so far. But that was a great job by FC Austin Elite to actually track back, help the keeper out, not just hang their heads and give up. And it's going to be a San Antonio Athenians corner. Allison Fahey going to take this kick. Hit to the middle there. Short little charge to Marlene Campa. Marlene Campa with a half turn, trying to control it. Austin Defender slips on the ball. Isabel Valdez comes down with it. Controls it. Takes the ball into the middle. Looking for Becca Mays. Becca Mays with the header just right over the crossbar. That is number three for Ms. Mays. Eventually, she's looking for her goal. She is hunting. <laughs> yeah, she's had a couple so far this season, but it seems like that's always the way it goes with her. She has great opportunities. Does a great job finishing, but just unlucky. So I'm sure she'll put one in the back of the net before too long.
Goal kick here. Looks like a substitution again for FC Austin Elite. Number 13 coming off. Goal kick here. Played up. And out of bounds. Looks like uh, possibly another substitution here. Yeah. Shelby Miller coming off the pitch. She did great in her little over 10 minutes on the field. Just trying to get a bearing maybe, see where she's at as far as her recovery kind of goes. Faye Allison Fahey also coming off. And Leslie Rios back on the pitch. And Nikki Popa, Nikki Popa making it in the match. Of, the return of Nikki Popa. We've been missing her. She's been off a little bit here. And there she is, number 15, into the middle. Physical player, that's for sure. Ball played in there to the corner by FC Austin Elite. Hannah Player, just that speed, getting back. Fakes inside, turns it out. And plays that one up the line. Looking for Issa, just over the touch line. Be a FC Austin Elite throw in here. Ball thrown in there to number 27. Tries to play it into the middle. Maggie Miller, though, I think, stepping up to have that one. And there's Nicole Galan flicking it on to Nikki Popa, who clears it up. Marlene Campo making a run on it. Good job by FC Austin Elite. Oh, but maybe a little short. No, a keeper able to clear it out. Good job there by FC Austin Elite with Marlene Campo on her back. She was about to turn on the Jets and take that one one-on-one. Oh, on absolutely, one. but here comes the Athenians again. Becca Mays, a little bit too much for Anacampa. Anacampa not giving up on it, though. Anacampa, over three players into the center. Just out of bounds, a little wide right. There'll be a goal kick here for FC Austin Elite. And again, so far in the second half, the Athenians coming out, all cylinders firing. They're not staying back, pressuring up top, pressure in the middle, trying not to let them have any space to do anything much with it. Becca there with the interception. Just off her foot, goes out of bounds. FC Austin Elite throw. thrown in there and FC Austin Elite carrying it up the pitch playing it into the corner and rolls over goal kick here for the San Antonio Athenians plays it short out to Maggie Miller or Hannah Player excuse me up the touchline to Issa, who just one touches it there to Nikki Popa. Nikki takes on one. Plays it up to Marlene. Little give and go back to Nikki Popa. Looking into the corner for Leslie Rios. Good ball. Looking for the cross. Gets intercepted. FC Austin Elite trying to do something. Another deep ball into the corner. Trina tracking back. Plays it back there to Ray. Plays it up to Issa, outside to Hannah. Great ball movement tonight by the Athenians. This is what you want to see, just letting the ball do the work. Nicole Galan going to play that one up. Another little give and go. And we saw him working on that in practice last night. Anacampa crosses it back in. Headed out by FC Austin Elite. And it looks like we have a tie between the Lady Rafters and Houston TTI, one to one. So both teams only able to get one point. And with that, it concludes the uh, season for the Rafters this year. Um, very good job by them, but we will see how uh, it all shows up now. Because In the table, yeah. Now on the table, we'll be keeping that a close eye on that. Uh, again, San Antonio 
Athenians hosting a huge game tomorrow versus Lone Star. Yeah, Could go Austin. either way. If they win, that's three points. and uh, Three points here today. That's six. So we'll have to see where all the cards fall after tomorrow. Like I said, I think there's a lot of pride, too, in that match tomorrow. Not oh, just yeah, the points absolutely. on the table, yeah, but wanting to get that win. Yeah, so far on the table, it was the Blue Bonnets on top with Lone Star in that second spot and San Antonio Athenians on that third. Both with one game less played now from that tie, I believe. Cor correct. So it's a 38-28-23 game, so it'll come down to the Lone Stars. We'll be monitoring the Lone Star game if they think they might be playing today. We don't know if they have a doubleheader on the weekend as well. We'll look into that right now. Ball played back there to Nicole Galan. Up to Becca. Has a nice little turn there and plays it back to Nikki Popa. And we've just been informed that Lone Star uh, has a double weekend header. They got a game today and they play us tomorrow. So we'll be finding out who they're playing today. Ball played out wide there to Anacampa. Oh, and Marlene going to be called off sides. Great opportunity there. Good ball movement. So, Lone Star is playing Houston South Select today, so... At five, so that game's already kicked off. Houston South Select at the bottom of the table, I believe, here in the uh, South Southwest Conference. So it's going to be tight. Yeah. It's going to be tight for that second spot. Here comes Becca Mays with that speed. Becca Mays showing the physicality that she possesses. Straight into the Nikki Popa there. Has a chance, just mishits it a little bit, hangs her head. She'd like to have that one back. Great ball movement there, though. Great idea. You see the girls working a lot better out there today than we did last week, so much improved. Keeper plays that one right to Nicole Galan. Leslie Rios staying with it. Keeper trying to find the open teammate, plays that one out wide, back into the middle. Austin Elite maybe trying to play a little bit more possession. Issa steals it away though. Staying with it, and there's Marlene Campa wide open. No, no Here call. Comes Campa. One on one. Goal by Miss Campa. Go, 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 go. By Marlene Campa. Capitalizing on it, and she's on the scoreboard. She's been trying all day, but a beautiful play by the midfield to habilitate her. Issa Bell Valdez again showing what she's all about. And that's why we love seeing her there in that middle of the field, controlling the ball, looking for the open teammate. And a great goal there. Making the score now four to zero. Two in the first, two so far in the second. We'll see if they make any changes. Becca May staying with it. Leslie Rios controls, switches field. Out to Hannah Player. Looking for Marlene again, who flicks it on past the defender. You got Nikki Popa and Leslie Rios coming up here on the far side. Ball to Nikki, Nikki Popa. Popa. Nikki oh. Popa still with it, trying to get it. Tried to get that touch just around the keeper, maybe just a step behind, but great effort there by Nikki Popa. Great hustle and great ball again by Marlene. And you know, these girls probably aren't letting off because they're thinking about that match maybe already a little bit tomorrow and trying some Absolutely. different things out. Because if it comes down to it, if there's a tie, it'll go to goal differential, that's for sure. Yep. And here comes Marlene, uh, Isabel Valdez again. Isabel Valdez out to Nicole Galan. Nicole Galan still playing on it, trying to capitalize it. Four to zero here in San Antonio. Athenians not letting the the gas off the pedal, that's for sure. It's got, they're going for more, looking for more, trying to capitalize on goals. And doing what players. works. 
Out to Nicole Galan. Nicole Galan with a little step over on the ball. Beautifully played out to Isabel Valdez. Isabel Valdez looking for Marlene Campos, who's got one. Trying to get around a defender. Good touch on it. Just gets intercepted there. Great job by the FC Austin Elite defender. And they've been, you know, having to play pretty much this whole game. Hadn't had a rest really so far with the ball. Constantly just being played into that corner. Maggie Miller going to play this one back to the keeper. Played out wide there to Anacampa. Plays it up there. Becca Mays. A lot of ball movement. A lot of give and goes. A lot of one twos. Leslie Rios going to play this one across to Hannah Player. Ooh, takes a late shot. No call. Leslie Rios with the ball. Becca Mays making a run. A little footwork there. Another collision. Okay, ball just played in deep there to the keeper. She's going to field it. Keeper taking her time. Punt it out there. Bounces over Maggie's head. FC Austin Elite running You're onto trying, it. FC Austin takes a shot on goal, but Rayanne ready to capitalize on one. Yes, great save there by Rayanne. She was ready for it. First time, I think she's really been tested all game. Great save. Saved by Garcia. Just gonna throw that one out there to Anacampa. Good job. Leslie, she's on. Oh, from outside. Oh, and the keeper had to get her hands on that, or else that would have been number five for Leslie. Yeah, she almost chipped her, but. Able to get a hand on it and simply just punch it over the net. Amazing. 15 years of age. Beautifully played. The girl can play some soccer. There's a reason why she's on this pitch. Yeah, a lot of confidence playing with these older girls. You see, she's not scared to take somebody on, set up her shot, and go ahead and have it from outside with the left. And they win the corner. Looks like Leslie Rios maybe going to take this corner kick that she earned. And again, a great turnout here tonight at Blossom. Again, again a good crowd. Always a culture. sure thing here in San Antonio. Averaging between 700 to 2,200, which was the highest that they ever had attended, versus Pachuca, the Mexican champion, which was an epic battle. The score did not reflect the, the outcome, but it was a great match. You had to hold their own with La Liga's yeah, champions. Over 2,000 uh and we should see that fans again here, here yes. on Saturday, June 15th. Let's June make sure 15th. you Athenians fans come out. Let's not get dominated as they take on the Tigres. We've heard that there's going to be fans traveling up from Monterey for that match. So, San Antonio, you need to come out and support, support, support like you have done. Yes, yeah, it'll only be the second female international match here in San Antonio. So, make sure you come out and support it. Ball played up there to Nicole... Or, Nicole Galan off the post. And again, another one right off the post. That post has been the Athenians' worst nightmare. Three shots off the post so far. Yeah, they've hit all three of the posts. So if they were playing three bar, this game would be over. Referee giving this one a goal kick. Looked like the uh, keeper might have deflected that one to the post for me. But we're up here in the back cave. He probably had a better angle than we did. Headed there by Nicole Galan. Looks like Katie Lochte's back in the game. Played there to Issa, over to Nikki Popa. Looking forward, gets deflected, intercepted there by FC Austin Elite. Got an attacker streaming down the wing, but Maggie Miller able to make the stop. Plays it there to Nikki Popa, who's gonna play it way out wide. Anna trying to get to it, and she does. Plays it up to Becca Mays, who beats her defender. Looking for some help. Oh, goes for the nutmeg. Able to get by the defender. Plays it there to Leslie Rios, who has it. Just over top of the goal. Great ball there by Becca. Great positioning by Leslie. Just leans back a little too far. And we will have another water break. If they have it in the first half, they have to have it in the second. It's usually right there at that yep. 25th minute. It's about 7.35, and as we know, it is summer in Texas. And it's still hot. And it is still hot. Hot, 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 hot. So we thank everybody 
for tuning in. For tuning in here, just a little quick recap. We are reaching the 70th minute here in San Antonio, 4-0 to, to the Athenians, who, as we've been looking at the standings here, Houston Blue Bonnets tied against the Rafters. Right. So that gives a them point. a point. And then Lone Star is playing Houston, Houston South, South Select. Select. So if both Houston South Select, when it comes down to just point differential, we are looking at just... Give us a quick minute here when it comes down to the standings. When it looks at the standings here, we have 18 and 25 points of a spread between San Antonio Athenians. But if they get these three tonight, that's going to be 21. So with so, the win tomorrow, that'd give them 24, which they're still a point shy, mainly due to that protest situation. So we correct. still don't know how that's going to work itself out. There, so there has been no final word on WPSL. As if their protest was final, done, they gave it and awarded it to uh, the Blue Bonnets. Then it was overturned, they gave the points back to the Athenians, and then Sunday morning last week it was reversed again. So we will see how that goes. For sure the San Antonio community is not happy about that decision, but we will see. We're, we're still on final word notice, and we will notify you as soon as we know something about that. Yes, and like I said, I think that game tomorrow against FC Lone Star has so much more meaning than just the table. I think those girls, Correct. after going up there to Austin, losing yeah, they, three to they one. they got something to prove. You know, it was a, it was a, we were there. It was a tough loss for the Athenians. They looked a little bit exhausted, worn out after a long weekend. Um, Taking on Austin Elite that Friday, correct? Correct. And then playing Lone Star on Sunday, correct. so traveling back. So we had to travel to and from, to and from. Yes, Austin's only up the road, but when you're playing soccer, 90 minutes on the pitch, giving it your all, it becomes pretty exhausting. Absolutely. And the whistle has blown. We will resume the second half here with 72 minutes to go into the game. San Antonio Athenians 4, Austin zero. 0. See if they can keep the clean sheet. And not only is this going to be a huge rivalry tomorrow, but it will also be the last regular inaugural season game for your San Antonio Athenians. So if you haven't made a match yet, it's Sunday, it's 3 p.m., no excuses. Come on out here. Let's turn Blossom Purple. Correct. Support your girls. It's the first semi-professional team here in San Antonio for soccer, for women's. So be a part of that inaugural season and be a part of history and come on out tomorrow. And let's cheer them on to victory. And it's been a very successful season for the Athenians, that is for sure. They've gone up against the best, and they've beat, tied, and competed with some of the best teams in this conference who have already been around for a while. San Antonio Athenians only had a couple months just to get a team ready. And going back to the November, December, January days, Coach Augie Mendez was at the head of picking each and every one of these players. Isabel Valdez there to Leslie Reels. Leslie Reels brings it down. Plays back it back to the Becca. Becca Mays. Nicole Galan there with the spot. Nicole Nikki Galan Popa. with the shot. Nikki Popa with the shot. Trina Ferguson stepping up. There's Nicole, Nicole Galan. Out Hannah, Hannah player. player. And to Isa with another give and go. Looking Hannah for the player. cross. Into the box. Has a shot into the keeper but yeah like you were saying Benji coach Augie kind of put the pieces in play uh, obviously coach Vita is now coaching the team and just done a great job so far in this inaugural season and yeah they had the idea back in January but a lot of these players weren't even able to join the team until March correct. due to NCAA college, regulations correct. they cannot be playing here while they're still enrolled in college and as soon as they were done with school the majority of them booked them down here girls from UTSA girls from uh, Louisiana State San Marcos, University, San Marcos, Texas Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. There's all, girls from all over the country came and wanted to the, play for their hometown. And one of the top teams, they've made San Antonio proud for sure. And not only that, uh, local high school talent as well. Leslie Rios. Yes, there's Leslie Rios who's been on the, on the pitch there. Um, a couple other young ladies who have been playing for the Athenians on and off on throughout the season. Flipped on there. Becca Mays. Offside. 
And a great save there by the keeper on that shot. Maybe just a step. FC Austin Elite defender did a great job pulling forward to get her caught in that offside trap. And it looks like we may have another, ooh, a line change here almost for uh, both teams. Just trying to maybe get everybody a little bit of play time here. Not sure if uh, FC Austin Elite have another match tomorrow or if this might be their last. This might be Austin Elite looking at the uh, schedule here. It looks like it might be their last. And yeah, Nikki Popo, it looks like, and Nicole Galan coming off the pitch. Again, 4-0 with about 15 minutes left here in the second half. J Bill coming back on. And Christina Nunez coming back on. And Lisa Tomendendal back from that lower body injury. Like you said earlier, good to see her on the roster. Absolutely missed her. Um, big key player. When we lost Lisa, the team struggled a bit. But you know what? They recovered well with Shelby Miller, Maggie Miller, uh, Trina Ferguson in the backfield. Everybody stepping up to try and fill her role. And it, it was it, they did an outstanding job just uh, stepping up and making sure that the defense does not fall apart so it's awesome to see Lisa back, Lisa on, the back on the pitch and it looks like she never even had an injury she look at that sprint that's what Lisa can do she can sprint back and forth I can tell you for once that she's very happy Nikki Popa there with the ball Maggie Miller slipping decides to get back here comes Austin takes that's a shot, shot on goal just wide of the net great effort there by Ray to get her body out there, cover that near post. She had it if it was going to stay in bounds. Goes out of bounds, it'll be a San Antonio Athenians goal kick. But yeah, like you say, Lisa, such a great job transitioning from back to front. Has that threat on offense, but also that capability on defense. Her and uh, Trina Ferguson, at the beginning of the season, we kind of nicknamed them the 2-1-0 Towers because they held it down back there, along with Lisa. Michelle Hogan. and everyone else and, and there's, there's that beautiful pass there kelly lochte up there trying to fight for a spot trying to get around a defender but what a pass by lisa saint mary's defender there's j bell with the throw in and to katie ann gets intercepted kelly steps up and lisa, lisa stepping in here comes maggie Nikki Popa there to help out, out to Jay Bell. Kellyanne looking for it. She decides to go for the center, out to Leslie Reels. Leslie Reels has to fly, out to Christina Nunes. Christina Nunes trying to get off one defender. Good job to cross it over. Jay Bell going to keep it in bounds. Keeps it in play. Oh! And Christina Nunez just misses that one on that volley. Great attempt, great so run. Back out, had a player to fly it over. From range, goes just wide of the net. And it'll be a Austin Elite goal kick. 13 shots on goal we see so far in this match for the San Antonio Athenians. Like we say, that SC Austin Elite keeper has had her hands full all night. Done a great job, though. Nikki Popa there with the header. Christina Nunez goes up. Katie Ann able to flick it on. Over Maggie Miller's head. And here's Trina Ferguson showing the physicality and the possession she has in that backfield. Whistle blown, and it looks like it's going to be. Is it offside, or are they going to call Trina on that tackle? It looks like they're going to call a foul on Austin here. Into the middle. Maybe an offside call. Oh, no, it's going to be. Trying to get the spot here for the free kick. Finally starting to cool off now a little bit. The sun's starting to set. Shade here now on the uh, grandstands. Nice little breeze going. Beautiful night for soccer. That did not stop San Antonio again from showing up. Intercepted there by FC Austin Elite. And Trina gonna steal that one back for San Antonio Athenians. And here comes Trina Ferguson. Trina Ferguson still with the ball. Here comes Trina. Trina still is going into the box. 
Man, and once she gets moving, there's no stopping her. She's Absolutely got that not. speed. Yeah, she's got that physicality. She's got that speed. Good luck trying to get. The only thing you can do is try to knock her down. Yeah, that Trina train, though, I don't know if I'd want to step in front of no, that. No, 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 sir. <laughs> Kicked not out of bounds there. So it's going to be a San Antonio Athenians corner kick. And it looks like it's going to be Leslie Rios. Again, take. taking it. And again, don't miss out. San Antonio FC playing tonight against Sacramento Republic. Yeah, number two versus number three. Yes, it's going to be a big game. Points on the line. Let's hope San Antonio can rebound. They are going full force. Good luck to our body, Lee Johnson, out there. Brother, give him heck. Corner there. Oh, and it's going to be not cleared out yet. Katie Ann trying to get a foot on it. Ball Jay Bell around. brings Bell it down. Swings it out to Christina Nunes and lets it fly. Yeah, that one's going to go over the top. But, yeah, like you were saying, Benji, we had a chance to sit down with Lee Johnson, talk to him at one of the watch parties, and he seems like a really focused goalie, just ready for his opportunity, and he's going to have it tonight due to that Restrepo red card last Absolutely. match. Absolutely, and uh, he is not new. He's been with the uh, San Antonio right. FC since last year, since our inaugural season as well in the USL. Um, going in as a third string, he was behind... Um, Cardoni and Restrepo. Cardoni. Uh, no, last year it was Josh oh, last Ford. Year. I'm sorry, last year, yeah. Rianne bringing it down confidently, bringing it out to Jay Bell. Jay Bell lets it run. And here comes Jay Bell looking for the open. Athenian gives it to Kelly, who's got that speed up there. Uh, unable to track it down. Fielded there by the keeper. Yes, like you were saying, it was Josh Ford, Matt Cardone, and then Lee Johnson last year. Now finally getting a start tonight. Correct, and it's not the first time he's played this year. He got to play in the U.S. Open Cup when they went down and and played uh, Houston. Houston. Uh, well, the Dutch Lions, Dutch correct. Lions. Yes, that's right. And did a great job down there. Jay Bell now with the ball. Going to pass it up there to Leslie Rios. But, yeah, well, I think they had four ties and now a loss. So getting those three points, it's been a while since we've gotten that W. So go San Antonio FC. Let's get those three points just as your San Antonio Athenians did tonight. Absolutely. Taking care of business. Ball played down the line there. Tackled by the – and, yeah, referee going to go ahead and blow the whistle. Player playing the ball on the ground. Looking for that quick ball, nobody up. Here they come. Crossed in. Katie Ann and Kelly right there. Cleared out by FC Austin Elite. Maggie Miller, just over her head. Lisa Tomendendal getting back. Plays that one with ease, back to the goalie. Who's gonna switch fields? Just under 10 minutes left to play. Maggie Miller plays this one out. Played into the corner there for Jay Bell. Shielded by the defender. She passes it back to the goalie. Deep ball played there. Hannah stepping up, flicks it once. Looking into the corner there, Christina Nunez going to play that one up to Katie Ann Lochte. Here comes Katie Ann. Got numbers moving forward. Looking for Kelly, gets intercepted. Ooh, Hannah Player tries to take that one herself, gets defended, goes out of bounds. And we'll have another substitution here, it looks like, for FC Austin Elite. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, tomorrow, again, we will be live. If, for whatever reason, you can't make it out here to Blossom, come on out here to Blossom and cheer them on in person. But if you can't make it, we will be broadcasting live again uh, via our YouTube channel. So make sure if you're watching now or if you see it shared, you subscribe. And uh, don't miss the last match here for the San Antonio Athenians in their uh, inaugural regular season. And it's been a great season so far. We've been Absolutely. very impressed by these ladies. Impressed and honored, Scott, to just bring you women's professional soccer in Absolutely. San Antonio. The fastest growing soccer, uh, the fastest growing sport in SA. Hannah Player. Looking for Jay Bell. Up. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. And luckily, we're one of the few teams that actually in the WPSL that does live broadcast. So it has been an honor and a privilege to be able to bring San Antonio. And, I mean, we have people watching in Canada, I believe. And ball played in there looking for Kelly. Christine on the back post. Sneaks what by the defender. Give and go flick there by Leslie Rios and Jay Bell to get the ball into the center to habilitate both the forward strikers. Yeah, and like, like I said, they've been they were running a lot of those drills yesterday in their last practice kind of before these last two games. Uh, and you can see that, you know, practice pays off the way that we've just been seeing these give and goes and these one twos and the ladies have done a great job moving the ball. Out of bounds there for a San Antonio Athenians throw. And uh, just a little over five minutes left to play here in this match. Katie and Lochte going to play that one out wide to Hannah Player. Kelly drops it back to Katie Ann, girl on her back. Over to Nikki Popa, who's going to play that one into the corner there to Jay Bell. Great job fielding that one. She gets the turn. Lisa trying to pressure. Good stick there. Ke Kelly not giving up on that one. Keeper just has to play it out of bounds. Felt the pressure. Heard the footsteps. Be a Hannah Player San Antonio Athenians throw, it looks like. Throws that one down the line. Christina able to bring it down. Plays it over to Nikki Popa. She got Jay Bell making a run. There it is. Over the top. Staying with it. Nikki trying not to let her turn. Good ball in there by FC Austin Elite, but Trina just able to track it down. Nothing new to her. Uses her body to shield it. Play it back to the keeper. And the girls doing a great job maintaining their composure. Playing with a lot of confidence. Obviously it's 4-0, but still. Great possession so far by the San Antonio Athenians this match. Absolutely. And seeing a lot of different formations, a lot of players. Played out wide there to Christina. Got numbers moving up. She's got Leslie right there short. Plays it short. Another little, little give and go. Give and go by Leslie. Nunes. Christina with the shot. Into the goalie. But great ball work again. Like I say, really working on those give and goes this match. Hopefully we see a lot more of that tomorrow against uh, Lone Star SC. Absolutely. It's going to be one epic battle out here uh, in San Antonio as we take on our rival to the north. Yeah, that 35, Battle of the 35 Corridor. We've got uh, FC Austin Elite today, and then FC or Lone Star SC out of Austin tomorrow. So that Texas triangle between Houston, San Antonio, and Austin has definitely been competitive. And Kelly. Nice pass by Christina Nunes out there to Kelly Lockley. Kelly Lockley plays one into Jay Bell. Just a little bit too much for Jay Bell. Good tackle there by Jay Bell. Gave it 110% to try and bury that one in the back of the net. Laid herself out. Got the deflection. Unfortunately, went wide. It'll be an Austin Elite goal kick. Yeah, these girls definitely have given their all for the city of San Antonio. Absolutely. Training three nights a week from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on top of school, jobs, everything else they've had going on. And not disappointing us in the least. No, absolutely not. The girls have come out. They put on the uniform before anything. They love playing for the town of San Antonio, and they're just grateful for the support. They were not expecting that at the beginning of the season. I remember back in February April. talking to them. Uh, they said, are they going to come? I said, don't worry, they will. I remember that that first and practice we went to. Yeah. Exactly. They didn't even know San Antonio was going to come up, show up, and here you are. Yeah. One of the highest crowds in WPSL. Yeah, for attendance, absolutely. And we were trying to find out um, exactly kind of what those figures looked like. And unfortunately, the WPSL doesn't keep attendance figures. They do have 113 teams, so that might be a little difficult, maybe even a little embarrassing for some, but definitely not here in San Antonio. But we will tell you this. When it comes down to our conference and in the South, 
This is the highest attendance, guys. Yes. Oh, We've traveled easy. away with the girls. We've gone to some of the stadiums. Yep, Houston, Shreveport, Austin. Even even around the conference, you've had between 50 to 150 San traveling. Antonio Athenians traveling to go support the girls. Yeah, that's huge. Amazing by San Antonio. And this field here at Blossom, you know, Michael was talking about it last week. It's a great atmosphere. You know, he was blown away by the pitch, the conditions. You know, some of the fields that we've gone to Absolutely. hasn't been anything it's of this subpar. caliber. Here comes Jay Bell showing that speed. Unable to keep it in bounds. Great effort there by Jay Bell. Be a throw in here and uh, just a little over a minute to go, plus whatever extra time the official wants to give. Simply cleared out there by Trina Ferguson. Leslie Rios trying to get the steal. We've just been informed it's going to be three minutes. Can't, time has just expired here in San Anne and. They're awarding three minutes. <laughs> it seems like a lot. It was only two minutes in the first half, and that was when we had the uh, Michelle Hogan injury. So we hadn't really had too much stoppage, I don't think, here in the second half. But And regardless, the girl's still playing football, still yep. coming out there. And there is Trina Ferguson again. Great steal. Yeah, it was a great play there by FC Austin Elite to attack into the corner. And I guarantee you Trina is enjoying having Lisa Tomenendal back in the backfield. Oh, Austin Elite here with a communication. chance. Ram being challenged there. Oh, and FC Austin Elite able to put one in the back of the net here in extra time. Four Again, to one. Great job, though, attacking that line. That's kind of what we just saw a second ago. Uh, but nobody was there at the top of the six. This time they had a player there at the top of the six. Great goal there for FC Austin Elite. Able to get on the board. There goes the clean sheet for the San Antonio Athenians. I know. Well, the, the win's more important. The three points is more important. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. And that was number 18, Ali Bear, with the goal. Katie Ann plays right, that here one. Here comes the Athenians, knowing that they can still score. Put one back on the scoreboard. Christina Nunes. Played there to Katie Ann Lago. Katie nice Ann turn. Turns over. Takes another one into the middle for Leslie Rios. Tries for a fancy little turn. He gets intercepted by FC Austin Elite, and they're playing another one back up the pitch. Trina able to clear that one out. And again, thank you so much for tuning in for our episode or our live broadcast here Absolutely. of your San Antonio Athenians. We hope to see you out here tomorrow. If you see us up here in the back cave, come wave, say hello. Yeah, we love to have you up here. We've had many, many folks just come up here and thank us. And we may hey. even throw you on camera. Be careful. Absolutely. Be careful. <laughs> We're known to do this. And there's and the it. final that's whistle. The final whistle. Your four to one. San Antonio Athenians, yes, four to one with the victory. Great job there. We want to thank you. You guys can see us here on camera. <laughs> I'm over here playing with these GoPros, but we want to thank you so much for tuning in to another episode here of Soy San Antonio Football as your San Antonio Athenians pull away with a 4-1 to one victory. We've been talking about the standings. We've been talking about Blue Bonnets tying against the Raptors. We've yes. been talking about Lone Star coming in tomorrow. Big game. Playing against Houston South Select tonight. Could be out of playoffs, but it doesn't matter because tomorrow is going to be about pride. It's going to yes. be about passion. It's going to be about what San Antonio can offer that Austin does not, and that is fans in the stadium. So as the season winds down tomorrow, Athenians, successful inaugural season. Absolutely. You know, we saw it last year with San Antonio FC. It's really tough to try and put a team together in the short amount of time that they had. But the effort wasn't lacking. The passion, the physicality, we saw it all. And I was very impressed. You know, when we first kind of started covering them, I thought, okay, we're going to go out there. We're going to do this interview with them. We're going to hire them. I think.